That is a closed supermarket. Yeah. And we have no food. It didn't really account for opening hours very well. It's something that you should always do if you're in a foreign country and actually do a bit of research on like how things work. Might as well just start riding. It's a good job we got some leftover stuff from yesterday. Yeah, you stole two donuts from breakfast. I got two donuts from breakfast, two full bottles of water. Almost didn't fill my bottles because I was like, I'll, I'll buy some lovely sugary drinks from the shop. But I did fill my bottles, thankfully. So I guess we should get going. Right but to Miami. Quite, it, is, it is actually quite chilly this morning for the first time, so we should warm up, I think. Do some movement to warm up. Exercise, warming my cockles. Exercise, warm them this morning. Exercise. Oh. morning Jimmy. Today, big day, we're riding to Hotel Miami. Where's that? Uh, Miami? You have no idea, do you? North. Five hours north, maybe six. We're going five hours north, maybe six. This is the last big day before a bit of a rest and I think Jimmy, you have done very well <laughs> because you basically didn't ride your bike for two months before this trip and then panic trained in the last week as we documented and now you've absolutely smashed it so i think i think i'll i'll probably tell you a bit later if i manage to make it through today i'll tell you a bit later about how the things i've done that are making it possible because it'd be very easy for me to have died on day one which i actually nearly did do <laughs> oh no oh no all right so let's re recalculate <laughs> today's ride is Edwin. 12 hours <laughs> amazing though isn't it? But you were just saying a second ago that like, why don't they do this in the UK? Just build massive cycle paths 10 meters from motorways. Just so lot, just so fast. Doing that, just build some of these. Yeah it would be good. The infrastructure would be mint. Downhill all the way to London, train back. I've got some supplies. Done well there. That's That's awesome. Oh thanks. Oh you said a little bit of bread. Yeah that's, that's perfect. One. That's the electrolyte one. Sick. That's a nicer flavour as well. Yeah, the clear one like, is a bit weird. Yeah, they had small bottles of the clear one. I was like, oh, I don't think I want to get that. So it's like, like lime. lemon flavour. Yeah, lemon lemon. Acidic, lime isn't flavor. it? You don't want acid acidity. Not good. Whereas that pace of sweet sugar and what you want on the bike ride. I found more of what I had earlier. It's so good. It's probably where they buy them. Where do you get these at home? Just simple donuts covered in dark chocolate. How are you going to carry them up? Ooh. I'm going to carry them. Mm. Woke up this morning really sore, trying to figure out if I like carried something for ages yesterday. Like bikes up the stairs or... Anyway, turns out I crashed yesterday so that's why I'm sore. We did laugh a lot, We <laughs> sitting at breakfast and you're, you're giving it the... What did I do yesterday to be so sore? <laughs> to which I reminded you that would be what happens when you crash a bike. Well, it was a very forgettable crash, like it didn't hurt at the time but now I feel like I've done loads of bicep curls with my left. Left arm. Left bicep. <laughs> My left bicep, yeah. We are now on a beautiful stretch of road, not next to a motorway, going through what? They're like olive trees. Saw some piggies, saw some horses. I see they are olive trees, you're right. I think they are olives, yeah. yeah. You've been on a quest for salt. Oh, I'm sure they won't mind missing a few. You'll be all right. Is there salt in olives naturally? What's that loud noise? Tractor? You fucking shot me right up there. <laughs> you literally, you were mid talking, you just went, what's that loud noise? Jesus, what an interesting road coming up. I think, I'm optimistic that that's actually downhill. I think it is. Because we must be quite high now. I think we've cut off 
a big chunk by doing that main road bit. That one's up, then drops down. Both of the squiggles are up. <laughs> Squiggly road is good though. It is. Squiggly road means beautiful, empty, small, nice road. And without big trucks. Fantastic for descending. <laughs> this is outrageous. Swiggle straight, swiggle straight. The two straights are the downhill bits. Washed my t-shirt this morning. Used Francis's fantastic trick of tie it to your bag to let it dry, which I've done. And what I've done is made my t-shirt a lot dirtier. Finally, one of your tips that hasn't paid off. What, the rest of them have, though? Oh, they have, yes. And also, somehow, still soaking wet. <laughs> See the dust coming off it. This is suspiciously good, Jimmy. Uh -oh. After the main roads of the morning. We've got a tailwind, beautiful climb, no dogs, lovely sun. What's going to go wrong? <laughs> the rest of the rest of the week. It forces us to get off the bike for like two minutes as well, doesn't it? That's a bit. Five second rule. There seems to have lots of different rooms at the same. Finally some vegetables. On a pizza. I don't know what that vegetable is. Pizza has been eaten. Those were the nicest people ever and they just told us how to order a special dish here in Spain, which was... We have both immediately forgotten. I think it was Arroz, uh, Arroz de la Cabana. Basically going to ride on the beach now for the next 30k. That would be great. How amazing is this? Oh, so good. What an end to an awesome day. Oh, it's not, it's not an end yet though. <laughs> Still gotta get there. <laughs> Definitely feeling it now, especially after a pizza. Pizza! We're in Catalonia now, do you feel different? Kind of if this van pulls out in front of us. No? Thank you. I'm basically on the drops now because I can no longer support my own body. So if I just lock my arms out, I can basically go to sleep. Oh, man. I am asleep right now. Hi Hazel! Hi Ivor! You alright? Yeah. Are you alright? Yeah. We are very much enjoying our rest day in Miami now, where we're going to use the end of today's video to talk about some top tips if you're very unfit how to get through a bikepacking trip. Hey, which, uh... I'm unfit, but come on. If you're the most unfit man alive, how do you get through it? <laughs> what, you can cut... You can't knife, you can't... How have you got a knife with you? It's a massive knife. It's unbelievable. It? We're not going to do that in today's video though because the video is already very long so we'll save it for tomorrow where we have a very long bike ride and on the cafe stops we can talk about how Jimmy's getting through this ride. Thank you as always for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys soon when we'll be much more rested because we will have eaten this whole packet of donuts.